All right, everyone, welcome back to Digging Deeper. This week on the show, we're doing a crop focus on one of my favorite and one of the biggest money maker on the farm here. We're doing cukes. Cucumbers are, again, like I said, they can be real money makers. You know, we sell these Lebanese cucumbers a dollar to a dollar fifty a pop. And they these plants, once they start to give, they can really, really give for up to six, seven weeks. And the problem with cucumbers usually is that they're very sensitive to a lot of the disease. There's, they're sensitive to a lot of fungi. And when they're outside, you'll plant them, you get like one bumper harvest, another, and then that's pretty much it. Most of the plants after a couple of weeks of harvest, they just kind of disintegrate. That's not even talking about the cucumber beetle and the squash bugs and other insects that can really attack it. So by growing them inside, there's a couple of things that really make a huge difference. The first one is that you can trace them. And by growing them upward, you know, they're not on the soil, and so they're less susceptible to get a lot of soil-borne diseases. But most importantly, you just get so much more revenue per square foot because you're maximizing the plant's capacity uh, to really give a lot of production on a smaller amount of, of, uh, of uh, square footage. And so that's really, you know, as market gardeners, our square footage is, is prime prime value, you need to maximize every inch of it. And by growing and tracing the cucumbers, uh, that makes a big difference. But also by growing them inside, beside the fact that you can be earlier and later, we can also uh, put insect nets. And then we have a lot of insects like the cucumber beetle that just can't get in. And so we're protecting our crop, it makes a huge difference. And all in all, it gives us plants that are super healthy, super productive for about, you know, four or five times longer than if we were to put the plants outside, like, you know, like a lot of growers or a lot of uh, gardeners. Uh, one good reason why I would think growers could do grow them outside is if you want to have uh, bumper crops, like big fields of one or two harvests. That's, that's how the big farms do it. They just lay it all out. They do one or two big bumper crop. They bring that to wholesale and it's like boom, boom. But for me, the investment of growing these plants, planting them, setting them up, it's not worth it if you're not gonna harvest it for long enough. So yeah, I think when I was a beginning farmer, we did, we did those uh, cute outside. It was a nightmare every time. And ever since we started to grow them inside and when we learned how to grow them well, uh, the difference is amazing. There's a few tricks about learning how to do this well, but once you've mastered it, man, this is a skill set that you'll have with you for many, many years. It's going to improve your productivity big time. So I'm a big proponent of growing cukes inside, and I think you should too. So this is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Cukes are a big part of our, um, our operation here at the farm. Um, if you want to learn more, there's the cheat sheet. You can download that. You can check out our work at the Market Gardener Institute. But I'm really happy that you're here. I'm really happy that people are giving their comments. I read everything, but I don't comment back because we're busy at the farm and it's summertime. I uh, hope things are growing your way. Things are doing great where I'm happy. And uh, see you next week.